Okay, race 14. A Huntington we will go. And here we are for the Peachborough Chase, which is a great two. Two mile four furlongs, the extended. So number one is Crunch Time. Two is Daz Muyun, three time winner. Third is April 7th. Fourth is Falling Through the Clouds. Sorry, it's your four. Five is Primal Scream. Six is The Bear. Seven, Burntwood. Eight, Doug's Plastic Paradise. Nine, Goldilocks. Ten, Grunge. Eleven, Joyful Countess. Twelve, Lara Croft. Thirteen, Mad Maddie. Ms. V is 14. Sympathy the Devil is 15. And Tarnim Black is number 16. It's a right handy course. Start has got them away. And they're away on a bend. So a few of them will also automatically lose a few lengths. Especially if your jockey had you starting wide. So as we approach the first, let's see who rises first. It's Sympathy for the Devil. But he's been challenged by Grunge. And the one coming out of the pack is Joyful Countess and a Morgan Frontrunner. They're all over the second, the water. And it is Joyful Countess that's going to lead this. By a couple of lengths, the one out wide, which is falling through clouds. We're straight into the third here. It's a plain one. And he gets over that as well. So there's still a few running wide here. And 12 wide. It's not ideal. They're going to the fourth. They're going to want to get over across. The one that didn't take that particularly well is Daz Mu Yun. It's won its last three three races and getting caught for a lot of toe here and already probably five lengths detached from the rest of the pack oh and he's gone Daz has gone he wasn't obviously doing well there the jockey jockeys jumped off before they uh, got to the fifth but back to the front it's joyful countess now leading by probably seven to eight from primal scream in second and lara croft the gray against the fence and then another grey just sticking its nose out there with grunge of Thunderspark. The outside of that is falling through clouds. A few still going wide here. Six wide. As they go around to this bend. And uh, probably lose a couple of lengths. So as we approach the grandstand and the six fence, leaders over it. As are the rest, although Sympathy for the Devil at the rear took it rather slowly. So it's still Joyful Countess by about six to seven now to Primal Scream and Lara Croft. They go to the seventh. One that took a real big dive at it there. I wasn't quite sure, but I think it was Burntwood. So you know, a nice aerial shot here as we go past the grandstand at Huntington. And the finishing line. It is still Joyful Countess. Past the lake and into the ditch. Oh, we've lost the second place. Has gone there. Primal Scream. Also shipped his jockey. And straight into the ninth. There's some poor jumping going on here. Although I'm not really uh, enjoying this Huntington course. But it's Joyful Countess that still leads us from Grunge in second. Lara Croft is third. April 7th is fourth. Then we've got Falling Through the Crowds and Crunch Time together. They're being followed through by Tarnine, Black, Goldilocks, Miss V. They come up to the 10th. Sympathy of the Devil's made up a little bit of ground now. Doug's Plastic Paradise nowhere. The Bear and Bruntwood are at the rear. So it's Joyful Countess. Had his lead now cut down to about three to the Grunge. And Lara Croft has egg over the water for the second time. Grunge didn't take that well. And has dropped back into the pack. But still, Joyful Countess. Seven furlongs still to run. And only another four fences to take. So they're over the twelfth. And everyone's over it. And that little loose horse there. So Joyful Countess from crunch time now in second. The one that's moved well up into third is Sympathy for the Devil on the outside. They're all over the 13th. Bruntwood at the rear took it slowly and is detached by a couple of links now. So it's Joyful Countess starting to be challenged now by Sympathy for the Devil. The one on the rouse is Lara Croft. Falling through crowds is still there. Crunch time April 7th. The grey on the outside here grunge. The one against the fence is Goldilocks. But it's Joyful Countess that leads. The one that was trying to make up some ground there was Crunch Time. But he got himself boxed in. He's moved out now. We're inside the four furlongs. And it's Crunch Time that decides to take it up from four furlongs out. The one on the outside now is Goldilocks. Joyful Countess doesn't appear to have anything left. The grey Lara Croft plugging on. Simply the devil's got some work to do from there. But it's Crunch Time that leads us around the bend. We're going to 
straighten up for the judge now and it's crunch time from Goldilocks they're pulling away from the rest of the pack so it's crunch time by half a length of Goldilocks these two into the 15th jumps it well but crunch time didn't and Goldilocks has bounced itself into a four length advantage here Goldilocks have only got one left to jump and a furlong and a half left to travel Paul Rhodes must be licking his lips slow over that but it still leads Goldilocks but here comes crunch time again Goldilocks gets the whips out and starts to pull away Goldilocks now Goldilocks by half half a length half a length half a furlong left to run and grunge is the hard finish in second place joyful countess got up for third bad luck for crunch time there certainly looked like he was gonna make a good challenge for the win so gold lots of paul Rhodes wins it second was grunge for thunderspark third was joyful countess for ghost Zappa. fourth was crunch time for leon van rensburg and fifth was lara croft for david robertson